Hi friends, welcome, welcome to the weekly sort of a big picture market uh, market map for the week and you know the sessions ahead essentially mostly a larger time frame view and then we'll drill down to what is the plan for the week. We'll start with Nifty first. So Nifty, I'll just quickly, you know, before we go into the week wise thing. Okay, so I'll just try to quickly sort of recap on where we are. If you see these are the weekly candles, okay. So we have now really broken outside this range, okay, and this was the sort of also the low of uh, this week almost okay which was uh, this price point uh, so we have broken above this so until we really uh, continue to stay above this we would expect a bullish continuation so any put to 500 is an all from a swing point of view <coughs> should be a bullish continuation thread for, for us okay from nifty so this is the sort of a weekly big picture view for nifty okay uh, and that's the uh, that's the current context for now uh, okay and so if if how far can we go essentially if you see the weekly candles you know so our uh, long term and this is more from investment point of view 16800 is a good potential long term extension at this point okay which is again this is swing so no, no intraday nothing so just a swing potentials okay uh, now we'll come to more sh sort of a shorter time frame context and the uh, current week So we'll, 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 you know, we'll start analyzing it, what the price structure for the week was, okay? So the uh, the previous week we had the profiles here, this week we had a bit of a distribution here and then we could have a distribution here, right? So our first thing is, can we hold above this level? So, okay, if we are able to hold above this level, which is sort of the day, low, the yesterday, yeah, and day yesterday is roughly the low point, which, you know, which I think was 500 or 600 maybe. Yeah. So if, you, if you're able to hold above this level, we would expect a bullish continuation in case we are not okay we start holding below so yesterday below anything below yesterday low okay you target the weekly VPOC here which is uh, you know 600 areas okay and then we can further target the lows of the previous week that's the plan for um, sort of a you know big picture view for the weekly uh, trades essentially uh, what is this level let's quickly check so roughly about 650 okay 650 odd is the zone where which is sort of a make or break for you for this week okay so we, we if you are able to hold above or below okay so that's the uh, you know that's the level we are playing for at this point uh, 600 650 okay for nifty and we'll also look at the nifty sort of the weekly charts here uh, just a second uh, So if you see this, this is a bit of a nifty yearly and monthly profile. So yearly wise, you know, we are way above the value area of the year. So we are sort of continuing higher. We are trading into you know, all time highs, of course. So this we are in you know, a fairly way above the value areas of the year as well. Monthly also, you know, we are way above. So this is not a great reference for now. We'll follow the weekly play reference here. Okay. In terms of where we can go and what we are doing. Okay. Here the immediate swing extension is about 16,000 areas for us. Okay, now coming to Bank Nifty. Okay, Nifty, yeah, Nifty, the quickly on the 30 minute profile also, which is sort of a very immediate plan for tomorrow. Uh, you know, uh, what we would want to do is, uh, I want to see that uh, we have formed a bit of a cluster over the last two days of this range which is, uh, you know, we want to see if we can really hold above or below. So above, bullish above, bearish below, okay? So that's the plan for me for now, which is about, you know, 670 or 720. So anything outside this range, I'm willing to trade a long side or a big short side play for, you know, as of tomorrow sessions, okay? And the targets could be anywhere around 615, uh, 570 on the downside, on the high upside, you know, the week's highs and higher essentially 750, 16k areas on the upside levels. Okay, that could be the potential targets on the upside for Nifty. Okay, guys, yeah, now Bank Nifty. Let's start with the big picture view for Bank Nifty again. So we'll probably go to the weekly charts, you know, to start with. I'll also sort of try and hide the drawing just for now. Okay, yeah. So here we have the weekly charts on Bank Nifty. 
and uh, this is the yearly profile and this is the monthly profile so bank nifty if you see you know we uh, we have just sort of broken out of this high volume zone 34 300 area so so sort of trying to hold above uh, we still don't have a much of a confirmed close okay so that's that's the key level we are uh, you know trying to look for essentially if we can continue to hold higher these levels bank nifty has been an underperformer we are below the weekly uh, yearly highs at this point compared to nifty okay and if you see there were you know significant uh, sort of weak candles here this one this one this one so we were just above this region so until we you know we continue to stay 35 500 we will have a uh, bullish bias if you can really hold above it okay on bank nifty so this was the a couple of spike lows here and also yeah so that's sort of a 35 500 is your really bullish breakout bias i was expecting 36 36 300 last week but we really could not get there but uh, that is fine that is fine for now okay and now let's uh, look at the sort of weekly profile on bank nifty and and oh, where did we stop okay on the on, on if you see where did we stop on bank nifty we stopped for now right at this uh, high volume zone which is around 36000 essentially for this year so we just stopped around here my expectation was sort of to you know so far has been to tag the out high range of this high volume zone 36500 areas okay so for now we have sort of stopped here okay and uh, we have a very small uh, you know sort of balanced week for this week so neither the bulls nor the beers are in control so again what you'd want is trade the break of this balance streak on either side okay that's the key plan so we want to trade the break of this balance streak on either side for you know uh, uh, both upside or downsides okay upside i'm looking for a test of 36 36 500 uh, downside we can go, go to 35,000 and 34 uh, 400 okay And let's look at the immediate plan for tomorrow okay we had a bit of a uh, you know a bit of a sort of a downside move on bank nifty so i am looking at uh, you know until we are able to hold up of 35 600 i look to sort of play on you know, the short side it's a bit of a tricky situation here because overall context is still very bullish but uh, you know if you are not able to clear this I look to sort of uh, you know, trade short for 35,300. Okay, if you're able to hold above 35,600, I'm, I'm bullish for 35,800 and higher. Okay, that's the plan for tomorrow for Bank Nifty. Wish you all a very good week ahead, and uh, you know, uh, thank you for the enormous feedback across the board. Uh, it's good, it's encouraging. Wish you all a very good week ahead uh, for the rest of the week. Thank you so much, guys.